Okay, Jimmy Adams here, president of Featherlight Coaches. Late on a Wednesday night, uh, gosh, it's almost uh, quarter till midnight. I've been doing uh, a lot of the final quality checks on Coach 0447 that we call Mykonos. Uh, again, we call it that because of the beautiful blue colors uh, like you'd see in the Mediterranean waters off the Greek Isles. So. I'm going to give you a walkthrough and sneak preview to this coach. It's not finished yet, but when I do my liveaboard, it is almost done. I'm doing my final quality checks, um, basically pushing every button. I spend a night on the coach listening for any issues, um, just anything that I can find that uh, just I think is not up to par, uh, up to featherlight quality. So. Um, you see it's got the Prevo badging, but we will not put the Featherlight and Vantari badging on the nose of this coach until I do my final liveaboard and sign off. So that'll come once we uh, develop my punch list, get it done, and then I do my final walkthrough with our QC team and get this done. So um, we're close, but let me give you a sneak preview before anybody else. As we look at the entryway here, some, uh, some cool features that I'm pretty excited about. Um, I like to have the entry of the coach in a way set a tone and um, give you kind of a hint uh, of what you're going to see inside and you'll see some patterns repeat as you go into the coach. So, you know, first of all, you're going to notice on the entry door panel, um, we've got uh, three dimensional uh, panels here that are backlit that you're going to see that same pattern with the diamonds backlit repeated in the ceiling of the coach. Um, again, you're going to notice some, some of this diamond motif as we go through the coach. You can see these tiles that are diamond shaped and of varying textures. Um, really beautiful uh, tile mosaic. You're going to see that again in the coach. So. These are hints that you're going to see as you go through. Love this new finish. Um, all these custom fabricated uh, handrails that we do that follow the lines of the, uh, the entry. This is finished in a matte carbon fiber. Super trick. Love that look. It's kind of got that technology and race feel that um, those of you who know me know that I'm into. So let's walk in and take a look. You got. Um, fully leather colored dash. Um, both colors that you're going to see continue in the coach interior. Um, this has woven vinyl mats installed, but you've got beautiful flooring underneath that is actually quite robust. Um, and then again, remember the diamond pattern. So we saw it in the tile. We're going to see it in the ceiling. We have the leather for the driver and co-pilot seats, um, custom quilted in a diamond pattern and perforated. Um, super comfortable, breathable, and the seats are heated and cooled. Uh, so there's your, your captain seat and co-pilot. Um, then you're going to see this matte carbon fiber again on the steering wheel and on our dash. So this is the dash that we rolled out recently um, again in carbon and I love again the updated HVAC vents that are the aluminum uh, actually ball bearing detent units that you find in the AMG Mercedes Benz. Um, you've got dual screens for the driver so you can basically run independent functions uh, RV specific GPS, um, FM radio, XM, 360 degree cameras, um, remote control, you know, your total vision rear view camera. Um, and when you're stopped, you've got the option to run direct TV on either of these screens. And then those are married to the co-pilot screen, which allows input, touchscreen input um, of the maps and all the other functions, uh, such as camera control, 
Everything else you might want to control, the co-pilot can do independently um, for the driver, which is really nice if you need to make uh, destination inputs and so forth. Um, this coach has got a couple of other really cool features. Of course, it does have the Allison transmission retarder and Prevo uh, adaptive cruise braking that we put on every new motor home. Um, I like this. This came out of the marine industry too. So um, that is actually a really tacky surface inductive charger. Great spot and your phone will barely move there. Nice tight spot for it. Um, cup holder that's lit and there's your leveling system. So let's take a look back through the coach. Now remember um, what we saw in the entry door, the lighted diamonds, and there they are again in the ceiling. This is a quad slide coach. Has a ton of room in the salon. Here's your desk area with a really comfortable Echernus lounge. Some really cool sconce lights our designer came up with. Um, moving back down the curbside of the coach, you see a spacious galley ton of prep space here. Um, you've got a, a stainless Viking microwave convection oven. Um, this is a marine grade um, induction cooktop. And this is just a kind of neat option. It's a silicon mat that again comes from the yachting business so that you can uh, have pots on the cooktop and they won't slide when you're underway, if you need to make something up while you're still moving. Uh, it does have the hidden Fisher Paykel dish drawer. And uh, of course, super nice uh, cork floored, dovetailed drawers with our laser etched Featherlight logos. So you see all of the drawer slides are hidden and they are the soft close that don't slam. So no need for a secondary catch. You know, it has automated locking system. When you start to coach, it will automatically lock your drawers and pantries for you. So looking forward, huge 65 inch Ultra HD TV. It folds down from the ceiling. You see a Sonos sound bar there also has center subwoofer and then you've got uh, rear channel speakers in the ceiling back here. Notice really a beautiful warm white coming from the ceiling lights. These are all Intra Marine LED ceiling lights. US made, five year warranty, uh, very robust, not inexpensive, but some of the finest quality lighting we've been able to find. Custom sleeper sofa here. So queen size pullout that has uh, an inflating like an aero bed uh, style mattress on it. Nice facing booth dinette. Uh, it's becoming more and more popular for us. Uh, J booth is another very popular option but facing booth dinette has been great with uh, storage underneath. And here you go. Here's our inspection and ready res readiness review that I've been uh, uh, reviewing and, and doing check off on. So we basically go page by page looking at everything, you know, generator, plumbing, uh, you know, your, everything from your bay compartments, uh, exterior, just DC electrical, everything in this coach. Final quality audit is happening here uh, on the inspection and readiness review. So we do uh, quality checks during the process, during the build process. We actually uh, have a team meeting with the assembly team on each coach every morning uh, where they discuss any quality issues and fix anything they find at that time. We encourage them to bring any quality issues they find to our attention and they actually, uh, they won't be penalized for that. So uh, our folks get a bonus for quality and productivity. Uh, and if they self-report and repair quality, they don't get penalized for that. So remember those diamond tiles we saw in the entryway? Here they are again at the bar. So this is what we sometimes call a galley annex. Um, here on the driver's side of the coach behind 
the booth dinette. You've got uh, pantry pullouts, your annex that uh, gives you nice space for a bar, or you have uh, plug-ins if you want to make this a coffee station. And then again, quite spacious uh, pantry pullouts here below the annex and storage above. So on the curbside, coming back, um, you've got, of course, storage above, below, big drawers, um, another large touch panel here. This is our exclusive system that controls every aspect of the coach, um, everything, you know, lighting, shades, uh, temperature, um, audio, video. These are things like awnings, locks, hydraulics. So this locks are your door locks and your drawer locks. Um, you've got uh, your water pump, your uh, air compressor, or your electrical feedback here, looking at your batteries, what your generator is doing. You can turn your chassis charger on and off, make sure the engine's not running. Uh, what your transfer switch system is doing, inverters, basically everything that you'd like to, to see, tank levels, um, and you can go in and actually change settings to personalize the screen. Back to the home screen and then you can switch off. So we've got those located throughout the coach um, in the 7 inch and 5 inch formats. So coming back to the coach again, galley area. Hidden just after the galley is a nice um, built-in Dyson animal and a Swiffer set going in. We've got a big stainless steel Fisher Paykel double door refrigerator freezer with ice and water. A pretty spacious unit. Love that it opens up nice and wide. Great access just beside your prep area. Uh, as we go back through the midship area, big pantry just aft of, again, your galley annex area. Uh, it's got your integrated lighting. Again, the, the nice custom slide out drawers, pantry drawers. Just aft of that, or just before getting into the stateroom area, you've got a bifold door here that opens up folds back with rare earth magnets, and you've got a residential style stack washer dryer. Um, half bath here, or sometimes they call it a day head. Gorgeous tile mosaic work here, glass sink, and uh, it's actually really quite spacious. Let's see, let's turn on some lights in here. Going farther aft, I'm going to enter the stateroom. You've got an electric pocket door here that will close off. Keep your stateroom, your, mat, your aft master bath private. A huge amount of space back here. You see this really pretty flooring that goes front to aft with that diamond shape motif again. So in the curbside slide in the stateroom, um, we've got a really big closet over here that's cedar lined over large drawers. Soft close mechanism again. And I love the lighted closet rod. So we've gone away from having uh, to have separate lights in the ceiling. They're integrated into the closet rod, switched with uh, the catches, so we've actually got the electrical switching built into the catches, which is pretty slick. And then opposite, I guess if that's hers, this is his. Uh, another large hanging locker in the driver's side slide. I say his because uh, this is where a lot of people like to keep um, valuables, uh, firearms, or what have you, in the wall safe. So this is built in 
into uh, a stud system that we build in uh, behind that. So it's not just the furniture, it's got significant structure that it's lag bolted into. It would be quite difficult to get out. Again, lighted closet rod uh, over drawers. And um, you've got a king bed here that is split adjustable. So his and her sides, you can adjust the foot and the head whoops, of this bed. There you go, here's your remote for that. So head and foot will go up and down, it's great. Okay. Tilt it up for reading, and I really like to just have it tilted up because it gives me even more space here uh, to move around during the day. So moving down the curbside, um, you've got a nice um, uh, velour, you know, custom upholstered cushion here for a bench. Great place to be able to put your shoes on as you're getting ready in the morning. Behind it is a 47 inch Ultra HD TV that uh, you push a button, actually raise up. Um, but when you're not using it, it gives you a huge window to see. Uh, some nice Scott's lights, again, Sonos soundbar and subwoofer is built in here. So we'll continue back to the master bath. Now this has some spectacular tile work. So we saw a little taste of this mosaic tile in the, um, in the half bath, but it's wrapping this master bath up. So your floors, your heated floor is done in that mosaic glass tile and the whole shower. It's got the uh, handset and the rain shower head built into the ceiling. But this ombre effect you get from the mosaic that wraps around and into the backsplash of your double vanity. So really large uh, vanity and uh, sink with uh, his and hers fixtures, actually like a large basin sink, uh, but lots of room for two people to brush teeth or, or get ready. Uh, real glass on the mirrors rather than plexi back here uh, and glass shelves. So the doors on each side open so that you could get a look as you're Maybe getting ready to go out, you can uh, get a look at uh, both sides of your hair and make sure nothing's out of place. So, ton of room back here. Absolutely love that master bath. So this is the quad slide Featherlight 0447. Mykonos. So look for this coach soon. We're going to get done with our final quality audit and send this coach up to some of our favorite resorts this summer. So look forward soon. Hope to see you on the road. Safe travels.